Right, this is going to be take seven or eight. <laughs> it's just a little video really to explain to Perry and uh, Ricky what the problem is with this Series 3 gearbox and the overdrive. Not too much really, but kind of complicated because parts for overdrives now are ridiculously expensive and difficult to find. If you can cast your mind back a little way when I stripped this gearbox down, it had this strange collar on the back that was held on with a nut. I wasn't really sure what it was. Anyway, we found out it was for an overdrive and this bit supposed to fit into here but the teeth are so chattered and worn both sides that you uh, they won't fit together and anyway even if they did they're going to chatter away so Craddock's had them in at a reasonable price so I ordered the two pieces together and I heard nothing for six weeks so I, called, I, I emailed them today I said what's the status of my order and they said oh we're waiting for the shafts to come in but I said, when I ordered it, it said it had some in the, on the website. Apparently, they won't be in until August. And they're out of stock everywhere. I think uh, Dingo Croft had them in, but they were 180 quid. I'm not sure if they got them in, though. This is, Dingo Croft doesn't tell you if it's got things in or not, I don't think. That's not really a bigger problem. Um, but one of the one of my big problems is this bit here so remember this bit bearing goes on this ring if you look very carefully I don't know if it's going to pick it up or not there you can probably see just there 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 this, this is a better shot the bearings chattered in here if we put all new parts back in here with this chatter in a way those new parts ain't going to last very long so what do we do we had a word with um, JP, and JP seems confident that he can machine this out, grind it out, because it's hardened there, and then from SKF you can get a sleeve to go into here, press it in, and then re-grind it back, and drill the holes through here. This is going to be expensive, <laughs> and very time-consuming, and we don't know if it's going to work. It should work, but who knows? There's a reason why this lot broke in the first place. I think it would it had run out of oil and was just chattering away as as overdrives usually do. <coughs> so knowing that we were going to get um, one of these new, we had a problem with the main shaft here. The main shaft was chattered on the end. It was worn out. There was a big step in it. So we had this machined heat we we found out that this bit and these bits go together like this so they don't move they're locked onto the shaft so that means in effect that this shaft here is just a location so jp machined down this shaft here and all was well and we we're going to make a little bushing to go into here no problem because it doesn't turn it just locates but the problem is now, because we've abandoned the idea of doing uh, the, the, main, the um, overdrive, because there's a used one of these in the UK for £750. This is putting this project way above the price of a Roma drive. You might as well buy a new Roma drive. So, OK, so we've now mach we've machined the shaft here. But now, if we, we're looking now for a PTO cover, to go on the end which has got a needle roller bearing in and now we've machined this too small so that means now we've got to change the shaft and find the gear and find a cover this isn't easy we i've got nothing like that in stock and you see the thing is like i say the the the, the cover is like a big cone and in it it's got a support bearing a little needle roller well we don't know what size it is could we could we take it out and find a bearing that's a bit smaller? <sighs> what a mess about. Anyway, so it, we've abandoned the overdrive. I'm going to put as much of it together as I can. Um, I don't really know what to do 
with this now it really seems like buying a new shaft for it but there again we would have had to buy a new shaft for it anyway but we just tried to salvage it so anyway i hope that explains a little bit what we what my dilemma is because i really really wanted to get this box out because it's been stripped for months waiting to put back together and i don't want to put it back together with an undersized shaft so there we are that's that's our dilemma see you later Thank you.